Welcome to the final episode of Game of Thrones Telltale series. Let's get right into episode six. The finale is finally here. Let's see how this game ends. Man, last episode was wild, the, especially the ending. Come on. Previously here we go. On Game of Thrones. But now I realize it might be far more entertaining to watch Lud tear you to pieces. We gotta kill these bitches. They killed Last Arthur right there, this little Wait. prick. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. What you need more than anything is an ally. I have to get in there, Sarah. Look, I can't get you in. Marjorie's already furious with you. You owe me for this. You're not a leader. You're a wounded soldier that trying to prove he's Duncan, still a man. The traitor. So I did some research after, so... Whoever you pick as the sentinel, the other guy would be the traitor, so... Didn't really matter, but I feel like Duncan should be the fucking cannon traitor. Just because of how it took place and all that in this story. I hope I wish they just made Duncan the traitor even if you picked the other guys the Finn. even if you picked him as sentinel They're everywhere We make for the North Grove Let me save your life and our house Iron from ice brother Iron from ice What the hell is this? The forest of Sigil. Those look like ironwood trees. The North Grove. Beneath the watchful eye of the Ice Dragon. The Ice Dragon? The Ice Dragon? Hear the werewolves whisper. I haven't seen any werewolves this far north. Hmm. That must be it. We're close. I think I found it. You found it? Are you sure? We can't afford to waste any more time. Not with the condition he's in. I found it, Sylvie. Right under the eye of the ice dragon. Just like it says on the map. You hear that? Hey, It must be close. I hope you're right. I don't know how much further he can go. So Duncan is the one who that sent him here. Moving. I wonder if this is still a good idea or not. Ow. His wound is getting worse. He burns. He burns like all seven L's combined. Oh. Oh. Listen, Garrett. I know I'm not well. And up here, up here that can get you killed. But you've always looked out for me. If anything happens, I want you to leave me. You take Sylvie and don't look back. Promise me, Garrett. I need to know you'll do it. Sylvie would never stand for it. She'd never leave you behind. Which is why it'll have to be you, Garrett. I mean this, Garrett. If I'm gone, Sylvie will need someone to look after her. Hmm. I know she's stubborn and proud. But she's a good person. You know you can count on me. Thank you, Garrett. I know she can hold her own. But she's still my little sister. 
What are you doing? I found Nightshade. I still can't believe it's they poisonous. killed uh, Finn. In small doses, it can help with that pain. That easily. It's rare this Last far episode. north. We're lucky to have found it. We can use the nightshade to make Cotter more comfortable. Right. It'll help keep him calm too, in the right amount. Luckily, I know how to use it. <clears throat> can you help? Uh oh. You see this? Claw marks. Whatever made this must be enormous. Gods. Frozen. Must be a fresh kill. The hell? Hear the werewolves whisper. Oh. Damn! Garrett! Where the fuck does bear come from? You shitting me? Shit! We have to cross the ice! Are you shitting me right now? Get Cutter across! I'll hold it off! Go! Oh snap. Come on. Oh! Come on. Garrett, come across. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. What, what happened to the bear? Did it drown? Seven house. Come on. All right, let's go. So damn dark. What the fuck? Oh. What is this place? You were right, Garrett. This has to be the North Grove. Oh, finally. I knew it. I told you it was real. I so this is it. So oh, this is the fuck. North Grove. Whoever they are, they can help us. Hurry! But what is it? What is that? The North Grove that can help help them? Who the hell? Garrett! Cotter, I need all your strength. We need to get to that village. Help us! Do something! Uh oh. Hi, Vis. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, chill out. <laughs> chill the fuck out. Wait. Uh, no. Uh, Garrett, tell them. Uh. I represent House Forrester. I was squire to Lord Gregor himself. Episode 6, The Ice Dragon. Oh, damn. We actually can see an ice dragon? Mira Forrester. Oh, yeah, I think she's about to meet the queen. Tell her what... The midget is up to. Oh, the hell? Listen. What were you thinking? My lady, please. Oh, what's going on in there? In, but you have oh, please lady marjorie she got please caught please don't send me back to high god she got caught finally you grace us with your presence i was beginning to think you'd found someone else to serve my lady is there something i can help you with i'll get to you in a moment do you realize how precarious my position is with Cersei? Of course, my lady. Of all the people in King's Landing, you steal from the Queen I Regent. I didn't mean... Did you know about this? Sarah's been stealing wine. Oh. From Cersei, no less. As if I haven't got enough to worry about. I'm shocked. Stealing wine, my lady. I'm shocked. Sarah, how could you? Ooh. Oh, please, don't play the scepter. You have plenty to answer for yourself. <sighs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't get so flustered. It's just, I need order in my household. Until I'm married to Tommen, I can't afford any more mistakes. I have no choice but to make changes among my handmaidens. You kidding me? Tommen's garden party, Mira. What were you thinking? I can't believe you'd be so irresponsible. I expected better of you. But, uh, Lady Marjorie, I don't know what you mean. Oh, I must have it wrong. It must have been some other handmaiden making a scene with Lord Andros. Hmm. Sarah's been saying some damning things about you, Mira. What the fuck, Sarah? I suspect in an effort to save her own neck. My lady, please. You've said enough. One of you must answer for this. Oh, it's not gonna Sarah be me. Sarah says you used her to get you into the party. The hell? You've been with me a long time, Mira. When I'm queen, I'll need people I can count on. Please, tell me this isn't true. Please. Mira, I don't deserve to lose my position for this. <laughs> begging you to tell her the truth. It was all Sarah's Sarah, idea. Please. It was all Sarah's idea. Sneaking me into the party was Sarah's. Oh, you liar! Lady Marjorie, please. Let her speak. She forced me to come with her. Oh. Mira! How could you? trusted you and you betrayed me because it's the truth sarah lady marjorie has been good to us she deserves our honesty oh. and that's what she's getting from you oh damn you deceitful treacherous one day all of this will catch up to you mira you'll end up with a knife in your back or your head on a spike uh oh I don't like that. And when that day comes, I'll pray to the seven for your soul. That's enough, Sarah. Consider yourself dismissed from my service. Oh. But my lady- I said enough. 
Why did I feel like that it was a little foreshadow? Make things worse. Oh. Oh, such a sweet girl when she came to us. Why One would more she thing. lie to me like that? One more thing that she's hiding. Let's tell her about that she's a bastard. Why would she betray my trust? Her Perhaps whole history. I did something to turn her against me. Her whole history she is lied a lie. about her name, about who she was. Her whole life is dishonest. The only wonder is that we didn't see it sooner. Oh, I suppose you're right. For all the trouble you've brought, I'm glad you came to me. I think of you as more than just my handmaiden. You're a friend. An ally, even. You've always been so kind to me. I think of you as a sister. And you'll always have a sister's love from me. Thank you, Lady Marjorie. I have to distance myself from you for a time. What? Why? There are rumors circulating. Stupid lies about you and a murdered Lannister guard. Oh, well, it's true. But stupid lies can be dangerous. It's true. I can't be associated with this or with you until you put it to rest. Should we tell her it's true? I hope you understand. When I'm queen, I can help you again. Maybe we can help each other. Until then, be careful, Mira, and goodbye. Hmm. Let's hope Sarah doesn't do anything stupid. Because what she said it felt like a foreshadow to me. Watch out for a knife. Hey, we gotta look out for ourselves here. This is Game of Thrones. I can't rely on anyone. They're nearly on us. Half a league or less. Seems you were right. I know that snot nosed bastard Griff. He was sent to kill me, not Roderick. He wouldn't run home to his father without trying again. Listen close! I want the road surrounded. So now he's king. Ride hard for Iron. Our lord, the new lord. Don't turn back. If this goes to hell, they'll need to know about Roderick. Yeah! Lay low and be ready to strike the moment I give the order. It's uh, what uh, what, what he always order wanted. Is that, Asha? Sir Roland always wanted him to be king or lord. Spell their blood. Follow my lead. Paint the road with their blood. Now, oh, seven hells. Take them. Let's do this. Kill the Protestants. Oh, No grit. Oh, he's a bloody coward. Yeah, your brother was the coward. You should have seen him squeal. When Griff gutted him like a pig. <laughs> Keep punching him. Oh, oh. My lord. We're going to kill them all for this. Oh, we will. Roderick. I wish I had known him, Asher. I'll never get to drink with him, fight by his side, complain about what an ass his little brother is. I wish there was something more I could say. 
people loved him. If he said a thing, people believed it. Roderick, he kept this house together through, through sheer force of will. My brother was a true lord. They'll sing songs about him someday. But you're the lord here now, like it or not, by the laws of your land. And to these men, you've more than proven yourself. I know. If I don't become Lord, Roderick's sacrifice, everything we went through, will be for nothing. You'll make Roderick proud. Make your father proud. If only he could see me now. My Lord, forgive me, but Lud Whitehill will be on the move. Let's move! Back here. Our army isn't too big now. Yeah. How the hell are they gonna do anything? Oh shit. I forgot. Um, oh, sure. What's her name? Roderick's supposed wife. <laughs> oh no. Oh shit, man. How could this happen? It makes no sense. He died a hero. Gregor was a hero. Ethan was a hero. Now Roderick? It means nothing to me. It was his sacrifice that enabled us to escape. <laughs> it's not fair. Talia, mother, listen to me. We don't dare take time to mourn. Not yet. Lord is sure to move quickly now. He could be at our gates before nightfall. But there's hope yet! I've brought help! Warriors from across the narrow sea! With no equal in Westeros! Whatever their skill, they are hardly an army. My lady. I've seen them in battle, twice now, and I've seen Asher lead them. They're a force to be reckoned with, and they'll be more than equal to whatever Lud can muster. How can you say that? We've already lost. What are you talking about? Ramsay Snow. He came here. He set terms of war. He said the last house standing wins. And with the Lord of House Forrester dead. Lady Elena's not wrong. By Ramsay's term, this war's lost the moment the Boltons learn of this. Roderick may be dead, but the Lord of House Forrester stands before you. I will lead us in battle. This war is not over until I say it is! Asher will lead us! Asher is our Lord! Hmm. Asher, I wish this were a happier occasion, but... This sword has been held by a Forester Lord for centuries. Now, it is yours. Oh, damn. Asher is Lord oh, of House hey, Forester. Oh, Asher Forester, Lord of Ironrath. Defender of the Ironwood Groves. I never asked to be Lord of this house, but I do know how to fight. And when Lord Whitehill comes to see us bend the knee, I swear I'll kill him with my bare hands if I have to. Oh man.
He's lying. What do you Look mean I'm him. lying? He's a crow. He doesn't represent the foresters. Never seen a crow this far north of the wall. Must be a deserter. I don't trust fucking deserters. And you're traveling with a wildling. All the more reason not to trust you. Get out of my face. Hmm. You're in no position to give orders, Crow. I could have killed you out there. As easily then as I could now. He's a warg. The bear likes your kind even less than I do, so I suggest you shut your mouth. Your blade pierced his shoulder, and I felt the pain as if it were mine. You couldn't possibly understand what that's like. But I could make you understand. Enough, Josera. He claims to serve House Forrester. Anyone could say as much. What proof do you have? If you'd have us believe it's not a lie. I was given this by Talia Forrester before I left. It's the Forrester sigil. Made from ironwood. Hmm. Harida East. You trust this crow? That necklace is Forrester Ironwood. No one else could craft it as well. My friend is wounded. He won't live long without our help. Hi, Vies. Wait! Where are you taking him? Who is this girl? Is she a prisoner? Why else would you be traveling with a wildling? She's my friend. A wildling girl? I told you we couldn't trust him. She'll betray you the first chance she gets. My name is El Sarah Snow. This is my brother, Josra. Snow? What is this place? A refuge against the forces of darkness during the long night. A place of great power to those who know how to use it. I assume that's why you're here. You're a long way from home, aren't you? There must be a reason you've come all this way. We need whatever help you can offer. Ever since Lord Gregor fell at the Twins, the White Hills have... What do you mean? Since Lord Gregor fell? Lord Gregor was slain at the Twins months ago. Betrayed by Walder Frey. You didn't know? Of course. How could you? He has no idea who we are. Why would he? Yeah, who are you? You're right. He's just a messenger. All he did was use some ironwood necklace they gave him. Why should we trust him with anything? They clearly didn't. Otherwise, he would know. Lord Gregor was willing to trust me. If he was, then you can too. He wasn't the best judge of character. Perhaps Lord Gregor never told anyone. I wouldn't be surprised. Better to hide his shame where no one could find out. What the hell? Who are you people? And what is this place? Whites. Gregor went Fend and Bjornen. This is the gift the Grove gives me. I control these warriors. What about them? Hiftonies. What? No! Let me go! The fuck? Did they teach you to fight at Castle Black? I hope they did. Otherwise, you're likely to die. I'll fight. But only if you release her. I knew you couldn't be trusted. Maybe you're the one who should be tied up. We don't have time for this. The dead are coming. 
untie her, but she'll need to be watched. That's one less warrior, so I hope you know how to fight. Thank you, Garrett. Of course. There's something wrong with them, Garrett. Those warriors. They're not normal free folk. Not like any I've ever seen. Ready. Aye. Lady Mira, wait. Tom, what is it? Guards, they're searching your room. Hmm. Break it down. Oh shit. Search the place. <gasps> oh shit. They're coming after us for the murder. But, but I haven't done anything wrong. Those are my private chambers. Your privacy is the least of your worries, milady. Wait Come a minute. On. We can't stay here. We kept the uh, the note, right? Will they find What's that? What's going on, Tom? Uh, Lady Marjorie said she'd heard rumors about me. It's all over the keep, my lady. They're saying you take Lannister men to your bed and murder them in their sleep. What? What? That's ridiculous. Who the fuck said that? It'd be ridiculous, my lady, if soldiers weren't smashing in your door. They're saying you killed that Lannister guard. Well, that is There's true. More. Someone sent the captain of the guard a message. Wait, no, that's not true. It was this kid. Never mind. Dropped off at the guardhouse. Anonymously. You mean someone's plotting against me? Who is it? Who? Who sent the message? No seal, my lady. No sign, neither. Whoever's behind this, they're making their move now. If those guards catch you, if Watch they it catch be Sarah. Us, We've got to stay close to Lady Marjorie. They won't touch us if we're with her. She'll protect us. Lady Marjorie can't help us. What? Imagine now. if it's what? actually Lady Marjorie. That'll be insane. She just can't. Then we've had it, Lady Mira. Calm down. Panicking isn't going to help. Those guards won't stop until they find someone for Damien's death. What are we going to do, Lady Mira? How are we getting out of this one? Don't worry, Tom. We'll figure out who's behind this. We've managed I just, to get Yeah, this I remember. Far. It was actually this You're fucking right, kid Mira. that killed him. It wasn't we even me. nothing like this. Or it wasn't even Mira. But I don't know how to aid you now. Tell me and I'll help you. Whatever it is, we can't stay here. Things are too dangerous for me here, Tom. I need to get back to Ironrath. There's a collier store by the river gate. On Muddy Way. The owners are like family. You'll be safe. From there, we can get you out of King's Landing. Uh-oh. Who's there? Show yourself. Or it'll be worse for you. Oh shit. Goodbye, Lady Mira. The coal boy. Take him. Oh no. They're gonna kill him. Your sister said he was building an army. We can thank Mira, it's not larger. But we'll lose if we go up against that. 
He doesn't expect us to. He's trying to frighten us into surrender. I want every bolt aimed at Lord Whitehill the moment he appears. Ryan! Fuck! Crossbow's up! Asher Forrester! Show your face, boy! Ryan! He's frightened, father. On ya! <laughs> well, Lord, you must not have much faith in this army of yours if you feel the need to hide by my little brother. <laughs> You mistake me, Forrester. Ryan is here for your protection, to stop you from being stupid. You see, I'm here to end this once and for all. You got your little revenge on my men, but it's time you listen to reason. I could ram your gates down and kill every last one of you. Or, we could end the bloodshed here and now. This war is over, Asher. It ended the moment Roderick fell. By Ramsay's rules, I'm the victor here. This will all be mine now. One way or another. Oh, this is horseshit. Tell him to fuck off. You put too much stock in Ramsey's terms, Lord. Hmm. Terms set by a madman. Terms that I never agreed to. You really think Lord Ramsey will ask if you're in favor of his terms before flaying you alive for breaking them? Let's put all this ugliness behind us. I'm willing to talk terms of your surrender. Surrender? Open your halls, and bend the knee as my bannermen. You continue to produce ironwood, under my supervision, of course. And you will join your house to mine, for all to see, by wedding my Gwyn. <laughs> well, Gwyn. fuck me. Asher, you can't! It's rather generous terms, actually. That would be easier to believe coming from Gwyn herself. Where is she? Far away from all this, of course. Besides, I speak on her behalf as her father. I would just as happily kill you all and be done with it. But I'm very generously giving you a way to keep your bloody lives. Oh, one last thing. As a show of my goodwill, I've brought home the body of your lord. The hell? Your brother was too stubborn to know when it was over. Roderick, let me see him. I want to see my brother. <clears throat> I'm sure your people will be relieved to keep their lives. We'll never bend the knee to a fucking White Hill. You will. Unless you want to end up like Roderick here. You have an hour. I'll be waiting in my camp. Son of a bitch. No. No. No.
I'm sorry, little brother. I've buried too many sons. You deserved more days than what you were given, brother. And a better death than this. The world is colder for your passing. Forgive me, I, I just... Perhaps the time has come to truly let this bloodshed end. We simply accept. We bow our heads and Asher marries Gwyn. You're not the Lord. Craven! It's not the worst terms I've ever heard. I can't bow my head to the fucking White Hills after all they've done. I may have loved Gwyn, but... No. No, not like this. Even if we accepted, I somehow doubt Lud would keep you alive once Gwyn's produced an heir. There will be no marriage. If we bow our heads now, we'll always be his slaves. We have to kill them, Asher. I piss on surrender. Let's ride out and kill them all. We ride! To us! Spill their blood! Believe me, I want to kill every last fucking one of them. But I'm not sending you all out to certain death. Just don't have the numbers. But, but maybe we don't have to. Lord rules that house with an iron fist. His sons, his bannermen, do nothing without his say-so. There may be 500 men outside that wall. Without Lord at the lead. They'll scatter like chickens with their heads cut off. That's good, but how? Lud will not simply cast aside his men and offer his neck. Such a task is easily said, but Lud is wary. We simply need a ruse to separate him from his army. To get him alone and feeling safe. And there's one way to do that. We tell Lud exactly what he wants to hear. We invite him inside to celebrate and drink to our union. Hmm. And then? Then an ambush. Your pit fighters strike from the shadows. No, an ambush is too chaotic. Things could go badly quickly. Lud could escape. There's another way. Poison. In his wine. Hmm. There are those who would call poison a coward's weapon. No. Lethal and direct. Either plan is a high risk. We only lure Lud inside if the whole family is there to sell it. Talia and Ryan will both be. I like the ambush I'll option be there, better. Roiland. I'll pour the wine myself. Poison is dog shit. You're here for revenge. You want him to choke on your blade, not his. Voice. I like the ambush, but an ambush option no way better. Way control. Everything could go wrong. Poison is targeted. Lud will be the first to fall. I'm sure I have such a toxin in my he stores. He might can no. smell the poison. I came here to wet my sword in Westerosi blood. It's what you promised us. We must make a tactical decision, my lord. Carefully, but quickly. I understand the risks. Ambush time. But an ambush is the best way to kill as many White Hills as possible. Then we have a plan. Whatever happens to me, I need you to get Ryan out alive. As soon as we move on, Lord. Not a problem. You know you're the only family I've ever had. That makes Ryan my brother, too. I won't forget this. I've forgotten the number of times I've heard you say that. I've said that before. We will avenge Roderick's death tonight, whatever it takes. Send word to Lud. We'll drink this night to the prosperous future of our united houses. She's left the keep! Search the area! Lady Mira! There she is! Take her! Shit. What's all this? I'll tell you on our way. 
You're making a big mistake. Don't you know who this is? Doesn't matter who he is. We're here for you. This is Lord Rickard Morgren, the most powerful ironwood merchant in King's Landing. One word to your superiors, and he'll have you carted off to the wall. Rickard, tell them how far you'd go to protect your friends. Lady Mira, I hope these men aren't bothering you. Hmm. We have orders from Captain Lucan Let to... Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. Oh shit. Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mera? The Rivergate. Thank you. The Rivergate. Quick as you can. Hmm. What's going on, Mera? Is there a problem? Someone's Maybe out to I get me. Someone's plotting against me. Plotting? What do you mean? They're spreading malicious rumors. And worse, they've set the guard after me. I see. That is worrying indeed. It, it better not be him. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although, you've made short work of one of them at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. Oh. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was a snake working for the White Hills. He got exactly what he deserved and no more. I'm inclined to agree. I doubt anyone will miss the oath. Of course, now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up, particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. Hmm. The Ironwood Market is wide open. A lot of gold to be made. And I plan to take full advantage. <laughs> a bold claim for a handmaiden on the run from the guard. You're clever, Mira. Identifying Andros as our common enemy while approaching me as a partner. You showed an understanding of King's Landing that took me years to gain. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine, a handmaiden stealing the Crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guy. Oh shit, I knew it, it was him. I Don't knew look it. So surprised. You must have known. I knew I couldn't trust related. you. Killing Lannister I knew does it. not go unnoticed. I knew it. I never should have trusted you. Of course not. You should never trust anyone in King's Landing. That this might son have been of a bitch. Mistake, but a costly one. After Lud takes Ironwrath, he son and I of will control the Ironwood trade entirely. This son You've of a been bitch. You've very helpful, Mira. But it's time to get you out of the way. Oh no. Can't have you complicating things. You're making a mistake, Morgren. Lud will turn on you the first chance he gets. You're a fool if you don't see that. Uh-oh. Tell me, Mira. Who is the fool here? You or I? You. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that's right. We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter! Where are we? Oh no. Fancy coming across you here. Oh no. I seem to have found something you're looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. Finally, I got her. You've got the wrong person. I, I've done nothing wrong. Shut your liar's mouth. It's time you answered for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Shit up, Mera. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, you gotta the be shitting me. Quick. You've got to be shitting me right now.
forgive my brother's temper. It's said over time, wargs adopt the traits of their animal. And your news was... unexpected. You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. And we are his bastards. I doubt anyone knows. It was his dark secret. And he feared his family would find out. No one at Ironraft knows of this. Not that I've ever heard. I suspected as much. Josra would say he banished us to hide his shame. But I like to think it's because he knew what we were. That he was protecting us in his own way. We thought one day Gregor would come and see everything we've built. But instead it was you. You are the first to arrive. It must have been a difficult journey. Few try, and fewer still live to tell about it. It wasn't easy. I had to break my vows to the Night's Watch. We barely made it. Not many survive this far north of the Wall. But you're here. Our father entrusted us with protecting the North Grove. That has always been our purpose. But we've learned there's a power here, Garrett. A power we've only just begun to understand. Winter is coming, and we haven't much time. Gregor Ven Fionn and Bjorn Sager Ven. Svealod Mopre Befastan! Creatures. Oh, damn. Oh God, Finn! Oh my God, it's Finn! Damn, Finn! Damn. Goodness. <laughs> Goodbye, Finn.
Did you know him? Maybe I'm wrong, but you keep looking at him. <sighs> he was my friend. His name was Finn. He was here because of me. I let him join when we left Castle Black. That was his choice. It's not your fault. Now his watch has ended. You fought well. For a crow. I saved your life. I wouldn't go that far. Although I admit, you can fight. Maybe they did teach you something at Castle Black. But then, my expectations were low. Is that your way of thanking me? Maybe I was wrong about you. We'll see. Killing them I don't mind. It's the burning that stays with you. You'll never forget that stench. Did you see what they just did? They don't care about their own. My sister has trained them well. Emotion is a weakness, according to her. I've never seen anyone fight like that before. They seem... fearless. That's what they've been trained for. Nothing else matters but that. They're more my sister's doing, not mine. The Whites grow bolder by the day. Ever since the Wildling tribes went south with Man's Raider. I need to go back. Here, let me help you. I'm fine. It's nothing. I should return to the village. Fulgorn Vicenir. Did you not hear me? Fogoren! Suna! What the hell? What? Wait! Oh. Fogoren Vicenir. The fuck? The fuck was that? You're losing control. What was that? It's blood magic. The more she uses it, the weaker she becomes. And they can sense it. Elsa is a fool to keep taking these risks. One day, they'll kill us all if we're not careful. Is there some way to help her? She is convinced her blood magic is the only way to protect the North Grove. That her warriors are the answer. But she can't control it. I worry about her. It's more dangerous than she knows. She was right about one thing, though. The Whites are growing bolder. And the worst is yet to come. Now that my father's dead, there's no reason to stay. That's why he sent you, isn't it? To bring us back to Ironrath. To crush our enemies south of the wall. And avenge his death. That's what my father would have wanted. Shit, what the fuck? You said you needed our help. This is our chance to do something about it. What the fuck, man? Where's Sylvie? Never trust a fucking wildling. Where'd she go? No way she just bailed. Uh oh. She, she's all locked up now. <laughs> Who the fuck? Oh, it looks fresh. Looks like they didn't make it to the block. 
cave. Oh God, there's a human teeth. Rat hole. Rats. They're everywhere in King's Landing. Ugh, disgusting. Oh, no way to get this alight. I wonder if I could use it for something else. Jailer, please. Shut it. Please come here. Who is that? How strong are these bars? <laughs> I wonder what she's done. <clears throat> uh, hello? I excuse me? What do you want? Can you get me out of here? Because if not, I don't want to know. Hey, no talking. Jayla, Jayla, come over here. Oh, don't you start again. Why don't you come here for a moment? We can have a little chat about it. God's woman, I said shut it. Or I will come in there, and you won't like what happens. Well, what do you want then? Tell me, please. I'll do anything. Just tell me. Ugh, bastard. Before the day's over, they'll take us straight to the block. So don't give me that look. You can leave the judgment to the Father, whatever gods you believe in. I don't judge you. We've all done things we're not proud of. I have a son. A little baby boy. I think of the smell of his skin. His tuft of brown hair. There is nothing I wouldn't do. Nothing. Just to hold him again. That's what getting out of here means to me. What would you do in my place? I'll never see him again. People will tell your son about you. Stories about what you were in life. Give him a story he can be proud of. But you've no idea what I've done. What the fuck did you do? It doesn't matter what we've done. All that matters now is what we do next. What did she do? Oh, that little prick. Mira, making this little shit already. Be quick. We'll be coming back for her next. For your trouble. What? Nothing to say? Block will do that to you. They'll be here for you soon. You don't have much time. Attack him. <coughs> Enough! I've come to talk. This little shit. I've come to make you an offer. I was thinking about what you said. And I've come to the conclusion you're right. Lud will likely betray me the first chance he gets. And I realized I'd overlooked something of great value. Your name. I want you as my wife. The hell? What? Never! The hells will freeze before I'd marry you. Sad to say, but the headsman will be here long before that. I want Ironrath, and you're going to give it to me. 
It may not be the grandest castle in Westeros, but it's a start. My family would never allow it. If you go anywhere near Forrester Lands, my brothers will kill you. That might be difficult for them. Two of your brothers are already dead. That idiot Lud will take care of the rest. <laughs> One way or another. And it won't take me long to get rid of the harebrained fool myself. I'm sorry, Mira. None of your family will survive. Ironrath will fall to you. And through marriage, it will become mine. A hold fast in the north can only help my ambitions. Until I cut your throat in your sleep. <laughs> Doubtless you'd try, given half the chance. But you won't be. It's fitting our betrothal begins in a cell. I'd say it's a perfect symbol for the rest of your life. You plan to keep me locked up? Well, perhaps not literally. If you play your part and produce my heirs. The murder of a Lannister guard can't go unpunished. But I can get you out of here, Mira. Hmm. One word from me, that coal boy takes your oh. place on the block. Tom! All you have to do is agree to marry me. You'll give up your power. You'll give up your ancestral home, but you'll be alive. So, Mira, what do you say? Can we trick him after, or this is like... If we can trick him after and kill him after, I'll say yes, just to trick him and shit, but I don't know if this is like a final decision or not not nah, fuck you that you will never have iron wrath and you will never have me what yeah, fuck you that fool. i'd rather die fine have it your way there's got to be another way we can get out of here There's gotta be another way, right? She won't get far. Not out here. Please, let me go! Oh. Sylvie! When you're finished here, come see me. There's something I must show you. I don't trust these people, Garrett. Which is why I had to see Cotter. He's not well. And he, he won't live much longer. I need to see him. Is he in there? There's a reason I wanted to talk to you. I need you to do something for me. And what's that? I didn't want him to suffer anymore, Garrett. What? Just to ease his pain, but... Don't tell me. That's when they found me. Wait, what? The nightshade. Oh. I need you to be the one to end his suffering. What? You want me to kill it's him? It's way, Garrett. You a have way. to feed it to him. You want me to kill him? I'm trusting you to do this, Garrett. You're the only one who can. Are you sure this is what Cotter would want? I know he would. We'd never let free folk suffer. You'll see. He's in so much pain. I don't know about this. Does he really want us to do it? Can he really not get better?
I did everything within my power to help your friend. But I'm afraid it's too late. Nothing can save him now. Sylvie told me. Nightshade? What are you going to do with that? You realize it's deadly. And has no place in here. This is for Cotter. You can't give him that. I don't know what that wildling told you. But that will kill him and taint his blood. Garrett. <coughs> Garrett, is that you? It's me, Cotter. I'm here. Where's Sylvie? Jesus. I want to see her. Where is she? Did something happen to her? She can't see you right now. But don't worry. She's fine. I thought, I thought they took her away. Incredibly brave. A lesser man would have died days ago. But I suppose you already knew that about him. You said you'd help him. I wish I could. But I'm afraid it's too late for that now. But he can still use his death to give his life meaning. This was always intended for my father. It's a sacred symbol of the power of the North Grove. Forged from iron. The handle made with ironwood from this very tree. In my father's absence, you speak for House Forrester. It seems only right that you should have this now. What is that? You're here for a reason, Garrett. It's no accident they sent you. I promise. I'll make Lord Forrester proud. I know you'll do what's necessary. <sighs> Your friend is dying, but his life is too valuable to waste. Give me his heart, his beating heart. All right, and chill his death out. Can have meaning. Chill out. We can use it for a greater purpose, Garrett. An ancient ritual to help harness the power of the North Grove. But we must do this, Garrett. I fear what might happen if we don't. You're out of your mind. This beating heart. This is madness. Not madness. Necessity. Madness would be letting the North Grove fall. You saw what happened after the fight. My warriors, they're pulling away. Please, I need you to do this. For me, for the North Grove. I'm ready. Garrett. Any longer. And his suffering. Use his life to make us strong, Garrett. Give him that poison, and his blood will be useless. Give Carter the poison. Let us use his blood to give us strength. No, I'm giving him the poison. I'm sorry. But I can't do it. Carter's my friend. I wouldn't be here if not for him. And I have to respect what Sylvie asked me to do. Then so be it. Full 
Ungorn Weissenair. She's losing control. We must burn the body. Your fighters are in place. Keep the White Hills calm, and as soon as they're all seated, give the signal to strike. Remember, no matter how much they might provoke you, we must let them think they've won. That's them. Here we go. Gwyn! Clever. Send the girl first. Don't let her play with your head, little brother. Lady Forrester, my apologies for arriving unannounced. I was hoping I might have a word in private with Asher. It's Lord Asher now. I think we can agree these are not ideal circumstances. Agreed. But these are the circumstances we find ourselves in. I know how you must feel, Asher. What your family has suffered, it's unimaginable. Which is why the bloodshed must stop. I agreed to your father's terms, didn't I? You did. But I know you, Asher. You're not the one to roll over so easily. You don't like being pushed into a corner. It's not in your nature. Things are different now. I'm different now. But you have nothing to worry about. You were always a terrible liar. You have to understand. I've risked everything to bring peace between our houses. To meet with Roderick in secret. To tell him of the traitor within these very walls. To make sure no harm came to Ryan as our ward. All while persuading my father the bloodshed would end if we were to wed. I have no ulterior motive. No hidden agenda. Just peace, once and for all. I trust you, Gwyn. I know you've lost a lot, and... And I'm sorry, but things will get better. Truth be told, my father's scared of you. Oh, is he? Is he now? With Roderick, he knew who and what he was dealing with. But you, he thinks you're dangerous. You proved as much when you attacked his men. They came after us. I know. And that's all in the past now, I promise. We can make this work, Asha. This is our one chance. Together we can control the future of our houses. Just promise me, when my father and brother walk through that door, nothing will happen that could threaten that future. Our future. I need your assurance. Nothing will happen. It's them I'm more worried about. They're more likely to do something than I am. I won't let that happen. Sorry to intrude, my lord. But Lady Forrester is in need of your help. Of course. I should go. What help does my mother need? Sorry, my lord. It's all that came to mind. But we have everything in place. How should we proceed? Ready the men. Consider it done, my lord. Oh, shit. Here we go. Ah. Elisa. I'm sorry it's come to this. But at least it's done. Where's my son? Right to it, then. Mother! Oh, oh my baby. Oh, oh my baby. <laughs> Enough slobbering. You can have him back when we've hammered out the details of your surrender. Lord Whitehill. Asher, 
Now, who'd ever have imagined this? You, welcoming me into your hall to drink your wine and call me father. <laughs> I thought I'd see the last of you when Gregor shipped you off to the other side of the bloody world. You honor us, Lord Whitehill, with your presence. And with this union. Hmm. Honor you? I didn't take you for an arse licker, Forrester. Father, don't bicker. Asher's showing you respect. Somehow, I doubt it. Hmm, I don't know if Would I should have said like that. Would you like to sit down, Lord Whitehill? Aye, and get us something to eat. I'm bloody starving. We thought you'd like to sit here, Lord Whitehill. I'll sit there. Thank you very much. Hmm. In the Lord's chair. It's not like your father wanted your worthless ass in it. It's just a chair. By all means, sit in it if it makes you feel important. What? What did you say? Something not very friendly, father. What are you up to, Forrester? Uh-oh. You curtsy like your sister one moment, then act the blowhard the next. Do you even have any idea how thin the ice is here? Calm down, father. Ash has been amongst Cellsword so long, he's forgotten how to behave. Teach him some manners then. Hmm. Rather odd. The Talia's not here, isn't it? And your banner men look a little tense. Uh oh. What are you playing at, Forrester? Something's not right. I can feel it. You're not enjoying the party? Don't play games with me, Forrester. See? That's the trouble with you, Foresters. No manners. At least Rod had it? enough decency to carry a proper Now I knew Ugh. Oh Now I d I don't know if that was the right the right choice or not, but kill them all. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yo, watch out. Yeah, that's right. Kill them all. Where's he going? No no no, don't let him escape. Don't let him escape, come on. Piss off this fucking guy. Forest of scum! Kill him away. Let's go, let's go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's right. For my brothers. Are you What the fuck? It could have been so different, but you destroyed everything. Goodbye, Asha. You shitting me? Come on, we can't let them escape. Don't let them escape, come on. What the hell just happened? Where did Lud and Gwingo? Oh no. oh no. Oh Kill no. Oh no. That's not good. That's not good. Take down the gate. That's not good. 
Uh oh. Can't fight that many. We're now, doomed. what are we gonna do? If they breach the gate, we're gone for. We can't fight the entire White Hill army. What do we do? What do we do? Oh no! What the fuck do we do now? My lord, your wound. Get them to safety. Of course. But I won't abandon you. Not again. Please, mother. What the hell are we gonna do? Oh no. Fight until the end. Shit. My lord, your command. Defend the gate. We have to retake the gate. Retake the gate. Watch out, those bastards! This is the war you promised, Petrosi. It's not over yet. To Asha. We gotta kill that fucking prick, Lud. Oh no. That's right. Kill that prick. Oh, kill him. Here's your chance. Yeah, that's right. Kill him! Oh, for fuck's sakes. Asher Forrester. You've come a long way to die. Kill him. Let's see you live up to your reputation. Rally to your love. Now. This fucking guy. Come on. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hell no. Hell no. What the fuck? It's not even going. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. What the fuck? Yo, everyone's <gasps> What? Everyone's dying this episode. You gotta be shitting me. You've gotta be shitting me right now. Everyone's dying this episode. Oh, damn. Everyone is dying this episode. What the fuck? Oh, no. Yo. Oh, he's fucked. 
Everyone in the Forester is dying. What the shit? She's still alive. Oh. Are you shitting me right now? How is Asher still alive? Oh, fuck. Now what? Who's gonna get revenge on Lud now? It's gotta be Garrett. Oh no. You gotta be shitting me. Everyone's dying. What the fuck? Yo, kill him! Kill him! At least kill him. Oh, shit. What are we gonna do? I am from ice. You gotta be shitting me. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh! We have to get you out of here. I'll be damned if I let another lord die on my watch. Thank you. You must survive, Asher. For the house. For all of us. Go! You already got stabbed. No! And the arrow put through. How is he gonna make it? Bruh. Is this really the end of House Forester? Yo, Garrett better save the house. It's only up to Garrett now. I don't see anyone else S saving the house. Mira is in jail. Asher's in no condition. It's only Garrett. The only one left is Garrett. It's up to you now. Yo, oh my god. Did not expect everyone to be dying in this episode. I know this is Game of Thrones and all, but like, come on. Actually, there's one more person that can save us. Um, what's his face? The uncle. He's with uh, Daenerys, right? right? Daenerys, maybe. I did what I had to do. He's fr He's got friendly with she Daenerys. And then we have her army. I don't know. to get our revenge. There's no way we don't get our revenge. Your arrival has changed everything. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives. Now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason. To protect the North Grove. Winter is coming. And we have a role to play in the war to come. Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see House Forrester fall. Not while we can still do something about it. It's too late to reach Ironrath. It may already be lost. Gregor trusted you for a reason. You know defending House Forrester is the right thing to do. You're the one they sent, Garrett. You should be the one to decide. We'll stay here. We march south. 
House Forrester needs our help. Yeah, come on. So we'll gather our forces and march south. We need to get revenge. May the gods guide us and protect us. We need to get our revenge. In the name of the king, I hereby sentence you to death. Oh no. Oh no. How is she gonna escape this? I don't know if she's even gonna escape this. Due to the fact that everyone's dying in this episode, I really don't know how she's gonna get out of this. Let me guess, Sarah's here. Sarah's probably happy. Oh, there she is. I think maybe if we would have been nice to Sarah, maybe she would help us out. I don't know. Sarah's probably happy. Didn't. She wants us to have. Look at this prick. Bring forth the next prisoner. Oh, no. You gotta be shitting me right now. I have no idea how she's gonna get out of this. This young woman is accused of murdering a loyal servant of the king. Who here bears witness to her crimes? I will speak to them. This woman is a traitor and a murderer! Shameful! <laughs> this bitch! This fucking Kill bitch. Her. A disgrace to her family no! name! Spit at him! <laughs> That's right. Oh, traitor! Shame! Take her head! Oh, in the sight of gods and men, and in the name of the king, End I sentence you to die. No. Shame! No. Kill her! Don't do it. Words, speak them now. She's innocent! No, d don't do it. Don't do it. No, I'm not doing it. Are they gonna make me do it? They're probably gonna make me do it. Okay, whatever. Let's just. You gotta be shitting me. This is fucked up. No, no, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. Don't. No. No. They better not. Don't fucking do it. Don't do it. No. No. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Oh, man. They're going to do it. You got to be fucking joking me. It's literally up to Garrett now. Garrett's the only one that can save the house. Unless Uncle comes with massive backup. I mean, wait, who? Un yeah, Uncle. The Uncle guy. You've got to be shitting me right now. The Foresters are all gone. Except for... Two more... Wait, what happened to, um... No. Well, the daughter. Where's Talia? Did she just leave? I think she just left, right? And Ryan, where the fuck is Ryan? Will this army be enough? Damn. I hope this army is enough. We need to get our revenge. It's up to you now, Garrett. Man, this story. This story is actually really pretty good. The last member of the Forrester family. Kinda. Of. There's still I know there's still Uncle Talia and House Ryan. Forrester. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Look at this prick. My father wanted to make sure they'd bend the knee. And what do I find? 
a child lord. Ethan the Bold. <laughs> With his bulldog sentinel at his side. As if I'd be afraid. And I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. Grandmother, that day Cersei dragged her before the throne, she claimed loyalty to me right in front of her. But then she had the audacity to go behind my back and meet with Tyrion when I'd clearly forbade it. And that day she pushed me to ask Joffrey for help when he ripped my dress. It was bold, I'll give her that. But I can't forgive that she used me. And now, with all that's happened to her, who knows what else Mira was doing without my knowledge. Come on, you shitting me? Grandmother makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. You gotta be shitting. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tuttle. I thought I could trust in him, Sam. But I was wrong. Hmm. He couldn't even give me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the Godswood. And sure enough, before a day was out, a brother was dead at the foot of the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I'd offended him to Frostfinger. And it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. He was quite the bold one, Reek. Chabbing out that fourthborn's eye. He killed the man who betrayed him. And ruining Griff's little humiliation by climbing out of the mud again and again and again. I was rather starting to like him. A shame he didn't last longer. The savior who couldn't save anyone. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was cocky, surely, but he wasn't uncharming. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. But there was no easy answer. But then he told me the truth. He'd risked losing all he had come here for to stand by his friend. A former slave. In the end, that mattered more than disobeying an order. Loyalty. Friendship. Respect. Without them, we have... nothing. I don't know if Mira ever understood that, Grandmother. I know she told me the truth about Sarah, but she also broke a promise to Sarah to keep a secret. In the end, I respect that she was willing to do whatever it took to get what she wanted. But at so high a cost. I could have told you this story wasn't going to have a happy ending. Roderick dead. Don't tell me this is the end right now. His little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, father. I know these foresters. If they had any sense, they'd know when to bend the knee and live to see another day. This better not they be the end. Hard. I'll give them that, but they we will still have to get our revenge. Shrewd when they should have been bold. I'm going to be pissed if this is the, the end. Last. When will these northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over, and they lost. This is wait what? Am I supposed to click something or what the fuck's going on? If this is the end of the game, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, oh, what's going on here? Oh, it's uh Asher. Is Asher still alive? There's no way he's still alive. He's still alive. Wow. How? Who's gonna stitch him up? Look at... Yo, he's been gutted. How the fuck is he still alive? 
No, there's no way he he's gonna survive that. Unless someone patches him up. Who the fuck is that now? Sir Roland? Okay, he made Okay, so they we made don't it. Have much time. They made it out. Oh, it's um well, at least they got Ryan back. Oh my god, don't tell me that's the end. Are you fucking joking me? Are you fucking right now? I wouldn't I wouldn't be mad if there was a season two, but there's no season two of this game. Oh my god, we don't even get our revenge. Telltale Games is no I don't even wait. I don't even know if it's still a thing or not. They they returned, but I still don't know if they're 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 most likely not gonna make a season two of this anyways. They're probably not. Because Game of Thrones the show's already over and yeah, I don't I don't see season two happening for this game. Alright, well, if there was a season two I'll I probably wouldn't be pissed, but are you fucking kidding me? We don't even get our revenge on that fucking stupid idiot Lud. And that other prick, what's his name? The Ramsey prick. You gotta be shitting me, man. But whatever, that was the ending. Man, that was a wild fucking episode. Alright. Drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your mate, Doug Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.